We are unaware that as teenagers, we have the biggest impact on consumer goods and the global economy. And even if it seems like we have no power to change the market and trends, it all has to start somewhere. There's an issue out there that many people believe is in the past, but today, it's still one of the most expansive horrific crimes. Slavery. It's still here. Not just in third world countries, but in our country, our state, and our cities. The Trani Foundation is a nonprofit organization that hopes to cause a global shift in consciousness and behavior of the world by exposing the cost of forced labor. The founder, Ronnie Hong, has spent a better part of the last decade creating a standard for businesses that respects the goals of the foundation and promotes freedom. But corporate regulation only goes so far. We need to raise awareness at the source, with consumers, with students. This is the Freedom Seal a seal of approval that companies can earn to show their dedication to ending slavery. Olympia High School is going to be the first school to earn a version of this seal, the slave-free zone. As a school to earn this accolade, you must raise awareness of the issue, put into motion programs to support the issue, and encourage vendors working through the school to only buy from slave-free supply lines. Educate, promote, network. We hit the halls of Olympia High School to raise awareness of slavery in our state and to see how much the student body knows already. It's like a thing, but not a lot of people know about it. I would say my awareness is very minimal. Um, so we're in Eastern Washington, some um, like sketchy stuff is going on. I don't know that much about slavery in Washington State. Um, I feel like there's not a lot of coverage about it like in any media. Uh, honestly, very little. I don't think I've ever explored that topic, specifically for Washington State. Oh, it completely matters. Yes, it's a great thing. A slave-free school? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think it does really matter to me because, like, we never really think about how, like, I bet some item of clothing I'm wearing right now, like, has been made by someone who wasn't paid for their work. Uh, yes, absolutely. Yes, it would. Yeah, definitely. It's like... People think it's an outdated thing, but it can definitely happen in our own communities. You know, you never know people's stories, and this is a huge school. You never know, like, if someone might have been affected by it in some way. So if we take a stand as an entire school, we could definitely help a lot of people out. Yes, I would. 100%. 100% would change. Uh, yeah. Definitely. I think so, yeah. Definitely, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> I think... I would want to change my habits, but sometimes when you're buying like from mass companies, you're completely unaware of what you're buying. While one school becoming slave free won't suddenly end forced labor, it's a step in the right direction. If consumers demand clean supply lines, then companies will be forced to comply. While it may feel like one person can't make a difference, we assure you that being more mindful of what you buy can positively affect the world around you. If you or your school has questions or want to join us in creating a slave-free world, contact Olympia High School or the Trani Foundation in the description below. Thank you, Olympia High School, and everyone who is making strides to help this world. We are proud of you.